Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome to Board Game Night. It's Battlestar Galactica. We have Avac, Marbazir, Quilatine, and Mr. Bryostone. Hello. Say hello, everyone. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Anna Chiadai. What was that? <laughs> Greetings in Welsh. Speak. Elf speak. <laughs> okay. You know, I just want last... to point out that we've been playing for a while and we're still, like, at one destination. <laughs> mm -hmm. <We> <laughs> don't don't say time. such things. <laughs> out of eight. We left off last time as uh, Madam President Roslyn lost her title to Leodama, which everyone suspected is a Cylon, so this could be disastrous for us. The only person that she knows is absolutely not a Cylon, and in her heart. Well done. I can trust oh, at no, least no, actually, you. I just thought you were the Cylon. Shut up! So don't! Don't! Beat. Shut! No! <laughs> shut up! No! No, I choose to you... believe that you believe me, and I'm happy with this. Just let me have this Where fantasy. did you put your CAG card? It's underneath my... Um, president card, just because I haven't got enough room. You need to see them both, though. No, it's not. Um, He's pretending. It he is. Not there. Double click. Double, double click, click to separate. Do, do, do. I tried to just overlay them, but it flat oh. out lands on top, which is kind okay. of annoying. Okay, I gotcha. Because I can't fit oh. them all on the screen at the same time, you see. All right. Did you draw right. your card? Uh, no, I haven't done anything yet, so I need to do okay. that first. So How are you going to get revenge packets. on everyone who tried to bring you? Well, that's the thing. Is that, as I said earlier on about Quill, he didn't actually do anything irrational. Unfortunately, I can completely sympathize with why he wanted to break me or why he thought I was a silent. Even though I know yeah, I'm not. You do it's... realize that toasters don't do anything irrational. <laughs> <laughs> See, this no, is the problem with him having all of the, all of the cards, because there could be a silent amongst us right now. And this I'm... would be a great turn to prove your humanity. Well, yep. I mean, that's the only thing I can do, because I am human! Okay. All right, well, right. get out there and do something. I've drawn my cards. Well, Let me, me have a look. Give me my president title back. Just go ahead and get over it. <laughs> you, use my action to give you the president title back instead of killing things. Yeah, that would work. Can yeah. you do that? Uh, can I actually just no. flat out give it to you? No, you can't. But no. you have to reveal yourself as a silent, then I get it back. That's not going to happen. You've given me the president title. Now oh, someone's yeah. going to have to take it off me because I can't reveal. You fool. Oh, 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 oh. Hang on. Can, okay, can we save some bit, right, on me. Let, let me just have have a look through this a second. Um, in this situation, I can use my CAG action, and that's just a free action for me. Is that right? Effectively, I've still got my move and my action after that. No, 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 no. no, no. It isn't. It's one no. or the other. Your is it? your CAG action is an action, so you have to oh, move first. Balls. Okay. You move, then you CAG, <sighs> and then take your normal action. And then take my normal action. Is there a way that I can? Move, then CAG, then play a card that is an action. Yes, of course. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, it's that may factor into this. Now, the problem here is we've got a spread of civilian ships, and two of them are in a pretty bad situation. I yep. can move the... Um, no, only one's in a bad situation. Uh, aren't there two? There's a there's a heavy raider next to two of them, and there's it will the heavy raider there, ignores all ships. It just oh. tries to board back. Oh yeah, yeah, right. The heavy raider just boards. Oh us. right, okay. Well, yeah. that, this is a much better situation than I realized. Then, okay. Well, the f hmm. This might be a good turn for your time for your once per game. Yeah, that's what I was thinking because I could I'm get all be of these too. off. Yeah. Well, I've got a. It's it's an action, so I'm going to have to use my action for that. Okay, right. Well, first and foremost, then. Should my priority be to just try and move things off the board at this point? I think it probably should, but I'm just checking. I'd say, like, destroying raiders and moving things off the board is probably, you know, six one, half dust into the other. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, ultimately, they, they provide the same rule of saving civilian ships. But this is, this is definitely okay. a good moment to point out that all those ships that we had on the board before we jumped, they're back. Yeah. And, uh... uh and the heavy raiders can board us through the bottom left or bottom right uh, Correct. part, right? Correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One thing to keep in mind as well is that there might be ways that you can sort of abuse the raider AI for, like, going to civilian ships. Yeah, that's Like, the thing. right now, the ones in the front, if they were to activate, they would move down to your space sector. And they wouldn't do anything. They would just move down there because it's the closest one. And that would take up If you up were to turn. escort that ship off, instead they would be going to the top right. Ooh. They would move upwards to try to go to the one to the top right because of their, their particular rules. Yeah, because they don't know go if that clockwise. makes a difference. No, it does. It definitely does. Um, this is a pretty okay. tough situation. It is a no tough situation because there's speeding. things that I can do. I can use my CAG action, like my once per game action, See, and if you did activate the six action. and manned vipers. Yeah, yeah, and remember, you can activate the same one more than once. So what yeah. you could do uh, is you could activate the yellow one 
mm -hmm. to move it mm -hmm. to the right side, then to the top side, then activate it again to escort off that civilian ship, therefore guaranteeing that that doesn't get destroyed this and time. That sounds like a good one. That is a very good And then idea. you would still have three activations of whatever. Of, In fact, mm -hmm. it could clean up all of the civilian ships. Yeah, I could move it to the right back, side of the board. clear up those two to the top, clear up that one. Is that correct? Yeah, because here's okay. So here's how one. Oh, totally lost your logic. First, you could take your move, which right. would be maybe to move to the front of the ship. Yeah, yeah. Maybe mm -hmm. I don't know, or stay where you are. Honestly, it doesn't make a difference. Mm -hmm. Second would be to activate your actual CAG card, which is just to activate one unmanned ship, which could be to activate the the super raider that's on the board and remove that ship there. Yeah. Then it comes back to you to take an action. You could use your once per game to do six unmanned actions, which would be. Uh, one to move here, yep. two, three to remove those ships, four to move up here, five mm -hmm. to remove this ship, and the sixth action could be to shoot at the raider or to launch another unmanned ship. That's that true. would be one way of handling it, as an example. And how many would that, that remove? That would, that would pretty much save... That would remove every single civilian ship, except for the one that you are personally protecting, which yeah. has no chance of being killed this turn anyway. Yeah. Okay, well, so the first thing I really want to do is to simply move... Is that right? You and can. then I can do. You can move or you can stay else. there. It's like pretty even. Okay. Well, before I do anything else, let me just quickly have. Here's a the look. thing: if you move, you're going to get shot. If the raiders activate, right, means the raiders don't move closer, but you get you're going to get shot at six times. Okay, that's can a lot. The, of shot. If the I were super you, I'd vipers stay where can I am, move twice, the right? The the super vipers can move twice. That is an interesting okay. point, but mm -hmm. I don't think you'd want to do that because you don't want to leave the civilian ship. No, 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 I'm just monster. asking. Yeah. Okay, well, first and foremost, um, right. If I move, then use my CAG action, then I get to take an action as my character to finish That's it all off. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move up here. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move this down there. And then as my action, I'm going to do exactly what you all thought I was going to do. Your dog of course. Do you like actions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh. All right. Not in the so, break. Hey, congratulations, Briarstone. Your plan worked. You're present again. Well done, Briarstone. I'm sure you're very happy <laughs> about this. I did. That's Honestly, if I could have protected you somehow, I would have put you in a tiny little Cylon pet bubble and taken you with me. But alas, I can't. So does uh, the CAG go to <sighs> someone else then? Yeah, it does. I'm Super just looking up the, um, uh, the succession order for the CAGs right here. Give me my cards back. I can't get the chart. Do I give you the quorum cards back? Or yeah, do they yeah. now just go? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, they the do go back. Go to... Okay. Mm -hmm. All quorum cards go to you. Move to... <laughs> Return to... Uh, pass cards. What player number are you? Uh, player number five. Player number five. There you go, sir. Ow! Now, oh, there we go. what do I do? Okay. So it goes... Stinger, Apollo, Starbuck, Narcho, Cat, Hilo, the pilot version. That's not you. <laughs> Athena, Boomer, Hot Dog, Racetrack, Bulldog, Skulls, Duck, Crashdown, Longshot, Hardball, Lee Adama, Military version. Kareth Race, Military, Lee Adama, Political, Hilo, Military. Okay, so it does go to Hilo, which makes sense. So All Hilo's right. the new tag. Okay. Now, have we dropped the morale? Uh, no. I will do that now. Thank you very much. Yeah, you can always check can I just say one top. thing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what were you saying about not jumping to conclusions after you play one destination card? <laughs> it was really obvious. He did, he did do a really yeah. good job of trying to defend it. He did everything you were supposed to do. But yeah, I, mean, I, I, mean, I still cool. stand what I, uh, by what I said earlier, that it was undefendable. That's probably Almost undefendable. True. Like, yeah. incredibly unlikely. To be well, fair, one of the other cards was worse. I've seen some of Abrex just let's two plays. Ways. He's he's not he's not he's he's gonna yeah no he knows how to play games so yeah no I don't trust you because of that <laughs> mm -hmm. well, right we have our now as Cylon. I'm as I am a Cylon what happens to me and specifically to my deck of cards so you discard actually I should check to see what the latest rules are but it should be that you are discarding down to I believe two okay. but let me verify that. It, it, it's alters sometimes between two and two and three and on your turn um discard down to three skill cards you lose okay. any titles 
Um, you move immediately to the resurrection ship, which I've just done, and you uh, receive the topmost super crisis card from the deck. Okay, well, let me have a look at these cards and decide what I want to discard first. Okay, I want to discard uh, this At one. this point, Chief, you can draw your skill cards. Yes. Because there's not going to be a, a crisis. And I discard down to three, you said. Is that right? That is correct. Okay, thank you very much. Note okay. that as a Cylon, you can only contribute one card to any skill check. Yep. So right. generally speaking, you want more variety. <laughs> Not at all misunderstood. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. Now, I draw a card from... Where was it? The Super, Super Crisis. Cri oh, that's going to be in just cards. And you Super just keep crisis. it in your hand. You can use it if you go to Caprica. Okay, so draw to hand. Boom. You should also note that there are locations on the Cylon fleet board that you can go to. Well, there's a location at the right. Baystar Bridge that does cool stuff. So that's yeah. an extra location you can go to. We are not playing with the Rebel Base Star. Okay, so they on the on the board for the Cylons. There are a couple of things that I can do on here that are going to be fun for me. Mm -hmm. Yep. But I believe that is the end of your turn. So now the chief, who has already drawn his skill cards, gets to go. Yep. I can't uh, believe wait. you spent all that time in the hangar bay with the Cylon. Mm -hmm. I, hope, I hope none I of it got on you. Skill, I didn't draw skill cards. I still only have three in my hand. Uh, what are draw you talking about? Cards. Well, then, yeah, I'd suggest you can draw skill cards. Just yeah, going to yeah, say, yeah. just going to say, I was, <laughs> I was, I was infecting all of his booze with Cylon <laughs> nanites. <laughs> He's a Why Cylon does now. the board keep moving up for me? Uh, because yeah, the board keeps jumping back and forth. Okay, two leadership and Someone two engineering. Mm -hmm. All right, there we go. So I got my cards. Now I have to look at them before I decide what I want to do. Can I just ask, well, whilst he's deciding, um, how do okay, I get where, to the I mean star? the hangar deck, yeah. How do you get what? To the, like, the Cylon Oh, you just move star? there. I don't think you even have to discard a uh, card. All oh, right, so I can just I can go there from the resurrection ship. Okay. Yeah, as your movement on your turn, you can just move to you can move to the human fleet, the Cylon fleet, Caprica, or you can move to the base star bridge. Okay. Note, so, however, right. you cannot return to the resurrection ship. Yeah. So there's an action at the resurrection ship that allows you to draw more super crisis cards. Yeah. You can only do that as long as you're there. On the other hand, at the start of your turn, you'd only draw one skill card. Yeah. I Normally mean, you draw two. To be fair, one of the the three. things that was going through my mind when I was a Cylon is like. I remember what happened to Shen. He revealed really late, and by then he couldn't take turns to draw more Super Crisis cards. He just mm -hmm. had to sit there, yep. uh, get off there right away. So revealing earlier gave me a, a, a strategic option to get more Crisis cards. How many can I hold in my hand? As many as you want, really. Wow. I'm pretty sure you can have as many as you want. <laughs> um, yeah, and I've often made the case that a lot of people wait too long to reveal as a Cylon. Yeah. And I mean, yeah, there's maybe that sweet spot where you can really, really hurt people. But meanwhile, you're basically just helping the humans. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The mistrust mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. this, wait too the, long. The, 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 uh, considering how many times he accidentally didn't shoot heavy raiders. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, there's no <laughs> accidents like there. The I mean, come team. on, guys. He's like, no, I'm exactly. not hurt you, bro. I knew that wasn't an accident. These stupid little centurions, they can die. You, you get to stay. Like, Do I damage, my friend. I more attention to games, like Briar said. <laughs> All right, so what's going on, Chief? Uh, right, so Shen right now is the cog, and he's the only pilot we have. So, considering how bad our situation is when it mm -hmm. comes to all the silent ships around us, I think it would make sense for me uh, oh yeah, hold on. I, does it make sense for me to repair stuff? No. There's no, nothing to repair, it just one Viper. Yeah, okay, so... I'm going to play... Just thinking about... Yeah, it one really Viper. sucks to lose Apollo. Losing the only true mm. hardcore pilot we have is going to make things very rough. There I can move and me. then play a card, right? Like, I can mm -hmm. move to a different room and yes. not yeah. decide... Okay, so I'm going to move over to weapons control. I like it. And then... Use executive orders on Shen. On Hilo. Mm -hmm. Okay. On the card. And right. now he gets to do things. What should I be doing then? What's the best thing I can do here as the CAG? Should I just hop um, to the hangar deck or what? 
it wouldn't hurt to have because as the keg, what you ideally want to be in is you want to be in a viper, uh, so that you can use. Actually, you have to. Yeah, when you're you have to be in a viper to use the like the free unmanned viper move every time. Right. The freebie. So that usually, if you've got the CAG card, that's where you want to be. However, as Hilo, there's something to be said about you just going to like weapons control and shooting there. You do have your rerolls, but you'll get more rerolls if you're out in space because you reroll both for mm-hmm. yourself and for your unmanned vipers. Okay, let's do yeah. that then. So I got to move to the hangar deck first. That's mm-hmm. one of the two executive order actions, right? That's right. And then I have to launch a viper. Yeah, you go. activate the hangar deck, which launches a viper, and you may uh, you launch yourself in the viper. And then okay. you get to take another action. Now, where'd you get that little icon for that he had right on his Viper? Right-click on it. Right-click on it. Add pilot. Just to add confirm pilot. why I use my CAG action to bring the Viper out, I just wanted more of your ships outside so that there was more things to destroy. There's one, <laughs> like, uh, there's one small nuance that I would like to point out with Hilo's ability. Correct me if I'm wrong. Because his ability says that during your turn, you may reroll a die that was just rolled. It doesn't say that it has to be your die. That, as that long as true. it's your turn, you can reroll someone else's dice. Right. Well, because in, in a sense, from them, in a sense the active player is usually the one who rolls, but you're right. Uh, I should point out that this does mean that Hilo can't reroll anything on this turn. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. it's not his but turn. if you were to use executive orders on someone else, then you can reroll their dice. That if is you true. Want to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm outside now, and that was that is an action, but then it says you may take one more action. That's right. So can now I you use should use the one, action in your CAG. Can I use that one more action on the CAG's free action? Absolutely. Okay. So now you're using your CAG card, which lets you activate a Viper. Yeah, I'm going to activate the... What's the yellow Viper called? The, uh, it's the Super Raptor. Assault Raptor. Assault, assault Raptor. Raptor. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm going to have you escort that civilian off the board. Mm. Mm-hmm. So just right-click, and what do I do? Move to... Uh, just reshuffle? reshuffle? Reshuffle. Okay. And then I get my own action as well. Okay, I'm going to move... It's worth noting, if you hadn't popped in there, you could also pop in here, because you right. could then take your action to escort that off. But that Just was not a, as dangerous as an this turn, but yeah. All right, so you I'm going to go... prefer to be where you were, and then you might want to move as your action, or some damn thing, I don't know. I'm going to go to the right. I'm going to go back here. Chill with, this heavy, chill with this heavy dude. Mm. And that's the end of my executive order, right? He ain't mm-hmm. heavy, he's yep. my brother. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right. And now I draw a crisis. Yes, you do. Crisis. Here it comes. Boom. Mm. Missing G4 explosives. Oh. Uh-oh. I blame the Cylon. Yes. Fail. Minus... It keeps disappearing. Minus one fold and all characters in the armory location are sent to the brig. That's the fail. So... Minus food? one fold, basically, because there's no one in the armory. Yeah. yeah. Food isn't critical yet, but we have only moved one. Yeah. So I'm starting to get concerned. And now we have a Cylon that might be spiking the checks. We have to also remember <laughs> well, he'll, that. He'll it's party time over here in the Cylon fleet. Time. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying that it will be harder to pass, like, statistically. It's true. Oh, I'm going to make it really hard. Well, I'm going to go and assemble the Death right Destiny now. and throw two cards in. You can only add one, remember that. Right? Yes. The yes, Cylon can right. only spike one card. That is right. That is why I got mm-hmm. really, really powerful cards. Oh my mm-hmm. god, it keeps moving the, the screen. Yeah, I know. Because I'm okay. assembling yeah. the deck of Destiny here. That's really mm-hmm. quite annoying, there that one. Go. I'm done. <laughs> uh, shuffle and add two cards. One and two. So, question one. Uh, is this the sort of thing that we care about passing? Kinda. It's only a seven. Can we pass it? I can help a fair amount. I think we can mm-hmm. easily pass it, but I'm not helping. Yeah, I'm it not still helping. doesn't have blow. What the heck? <laughs> yeah. Chief, are you going to be able to assist in any meaningful way? If I the answer can... is no, then we can't. Well, we... I can barely contribute. Like, barely minimal amount. I just and have Hilo mostly... And Hilo and Roslyn, cards. neither one of you can contribute. Hilo can't really help. Then I guess we're just going to have to... Well, uh, uh, actually, we if we really wanted to, I could probably like pass it by myself. But that would be like if we are really desperate to pass it, which I don't this think we are. Desperate. This is not a do or die. Yeah, yeah. Food's not even so, going to be in the red. Okay, so, yeah, so uh, no. Hilo's the first one to contribute or not. Pass. Rosalind. Uh, pass. I pass as well. Apollo? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm not going to contribute anything now. And Chief? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> You couldn't try to auto pass. Yeah, yeah. Now the, that um, you know that it's not spiked, do you see? The Destiny cards mm-hmm. could just. Pass on its own, or you could. You no, could that's true. Pass Marbo's yeah. here. 
you know you can't be spiked anymore. Yep. Mm -hmm. But my turn is already over. I can't no, it's change not. my mind now. No, still it's your turn. Your turn. No, no, no. You are the last Oh, it's my turn first. now. Yes. Yeah, yeah, right. You're the okay, active I got player. Mm -hmm. Well on. then. Burn your cards. Uh, That's the advantage of being the active player is you always go last on these checks. Sure. I need to think about this for a moment. I have like a really weird hand. I can't tell you the details, but it's oh, really it's weird. Like gross. Yeah, they have like, like lobster two claws thumbs or something. Or something. Like lobster claws. Ooh. Mm. Like not one. I have multiple like, claws. I have like one trick that I can do that will contribute massively to any check, but that doesn't really make any sense right now. Oh, I totally and it's too late to use it anyway. Yeah. I will add one food? card. Uh, okay. okay. Hold on. Uh, move to skill check. I added one card, and that's my contribution. Okay, All right, well, that's, hit a maximum we firepower, so that's <laughs> not good. That's not going to pass. Yep, we failed. No. All right, so let me bring oh, well. down the food. It happens. No one's in the armory. Uh, this is really bad in that raiders are activating, and there's no jump prep either. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you're the active player, Chief, so you can choose in what order they resolve in. <laughs> I would say it looks like it doesn't oh, actually decide. matter. Yeah. Sometimes there can be a timing thing with so... things being destroyed, but it's not going to affect the path of each ship. Yeah, it doesn't actually well, matter. The one on the top will move, so I just move them first because they have no other choice. Yeah. Like, they will do that no matter what. Yeah. That's right. Because so even if we destroy. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. This one well, here, this one here the civilian doesn't ship. move, it attacks the civilian. Oh, yeah, there's a civilian, right. Yeah. I didn't so notice just that. do this so one I first. Roll. It'll probably keep it clear. I roll, right? Yeah. Uh, wait, hold on. Sorry, there's no actual roll for civilians. There's just an automatic. <laughs> no, no, no. You yeah. just basically oh, them okay. the So right. we flip it over. We find touch. out it's going to cost us one population. Damn. Uh -huh. And then this gets um, destroyed. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot of people to sacrifice. Like this. Mm -hmm. And the others move counterclockwise. Actually, no, they attack they fight. the unmanned viper. Which I left it yeah. for them to feed on. That's like six. Cut your do teeth, my attack? brothers. That explains why you move there. Yeah. Like, why would you move there? Like, yeah. Do they attack it? Do, do they attack it one by one? And if they yes. fail to destroy, then the next one attacks and yep. so on. Yes, mm -hmm. that's right. Okay, so, so I roll up to six, six times. Mm -hmm. What do I need to roll? It's a uh, five or a, well six and above damages it. If you roll an eight, it's actually destroyed. Come on, eight. Okay. Go low. Yay! Oh, nice. oh. First one has missed. Yay! Uh, just out of curiosity, Hilo, do you have an evasive maneuver that you want to play? Um, I do. Should I play it now? I mean, he's got so many yeah. more moves. Because the rest of them are going to move in and kill that civilian population. Well, they won't kill it this time, so it's actually okay. Yeah, they can't well, lose If he has evasive maneuvers, maybe it would be better to save it for when yeah. he will get shot. Yeah, don't yeah. lose it, dude. I'm it's, just, I'm I think pass. it's fine if we just let this one be damaged. Unless you have destroyed. multiples. As an experienced pilot... <laughs> I think you no, should shut up. You. Like, if, if, you have multiples, if you have multiples, it would make sense. But if you only have one, it's probably better to keep it for when they will shoot you. Yes, he has multiples. I multiples. have multiples. Oh, that's fine. Okay. But I'm going to mark it as damage. Logic. You might disagree. So it's the rest damaged. of them move on to here and then don't do anything yep. this turn. Mm -hmm. We get no jump prep. Oh, now my Kilo, turn is done. Draw your cards. All right. I get two okay, leadership. Two tactics and only one piloting. Very yep. sad. Mm, yes. All right, let me arrange those for El Cameron. There are some cards that allow you to draw cards from outside of your skill set, but these are pretty rare. All right, so these are the cards I got. These five down here. Oh, wow, that's a scary face. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> so, what should I be doing here? I've got uh, a heavy raider. I'm. Um, Probably not going to bother with him. We really got to take care of these stupid raiders. Um, now, as the cag here, I can move an unarmed viper right now, right? Yeah. Or not an unarmed. I said the same thing. Unmanned. Yeah, yeah. unmanned viper. Everybody said unarmed mm -hmm. at least once. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I said unarmed. Over here. It's like and, V. And, wait, remember. Hold on. Before you do. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say move, move a viper right. over there. Good. And then can I have him escort the civilian off, or can you not do that on a tile that's occupied? Uh, you can do it on a tile that's occupied, but he's already mm -hmm. you've already activated him. His activation was to move. Gotcha. So he can't... And in fact, instead okay. of moving him, why don't oh, you just okay. grab another Viper... And uh, launch it. Gotcha. And launch it instead. Mm -hmm. That makes Same sense. Thing, right? Super Viper. But that's, that's all you can do. Now, the only thing you've got left is one personal action for yourself. 
Uh, okay. Wait, is, is the only difference between Vipers and Super Vipers that Super Vipers can move two tiles or two and spaces? They're harder to hit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. On a five, a normal one gets damaged, mm -hmm. but on a five, the super ones don't. Okay. All right. Now, I can, I can escort one of these civilians off in the rear, right? And I like that. Okay, done. Yeah, yeah. Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's my entire turn. Wow, that was mm -hmm. that was quick. Yeah. Let's get a crisis. Crisis. Let's is it? have a good one. Come on. We need to be really mm -hmm. bad. You're this so metal, of <laughs> metal of distinction. Ooh. Hey! Admiral so chooses nice. plus two, plus one morale. Place two civilian ships <laughs> on the board. And then all of the things move. Oh, oh, damn. Lose one morale. Oh, I'm liking. Oh, you not but we can't morale. possibly activate the raiders. Especially mm -hmm. after putting two more yeah. civilian ships. So he's on. going to be minus one morale. Yeah, yeah which that's sucks. Big choice that's here. Two point morale swing, effectively. Oh, we, at least we get a jump prep. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Bri. I'm so sorry, Bri. I know this is hitting you hard that I was actually Shylon. If we oh, want. Cylon, I mean. If we want. <laughs> Shylon. If, if, we, if we want, we can risk pre population <laughs> to jump. If we want. Right. Like, it's well, an option on the table right now. That's assuming FDL doesn't get damaged. And right now, Shen has to roll a D8 True. to see if the base star missiles hit us. I get to reroll. Mm -hmm. it screws you do up. get to reroll. You do. Of course, oh, yeah, it's going to miss, though. That's I, a hit, right? I think so. I'm trying to bring up the, um, the chart again. Is it at four to eight? Let's pretend that he's not. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Galactica. Yeah, four to eight would be a damage. So you do want to uh, reroll. All right, so, yeah, You want a one to three. You didn't see that? Damn it. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Now. So the this here is the damage token. You got Avax dice. That is a food damage, so we lose a food. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, gross. Still not in the red, oh. but getting low, and we still only have a distance of one. No, oh, that's a terrible yep. damage. Come on, guys. It's looking pretty bad for the humans. <laughs> I want to right click and mute Avax now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this token, it's weird that there's no discard on the right click because this only happens once. We can't get the food damage again. Okay. As far as I know. But that's discarded. Yeah, as far as I know. Okay, and check. now we advance jump prep. Okay, right. and there we go. And so, that, we President Roslin, draw your cards. Uh, we should right. probably wrap up this episode. Oh, yes, we should. About 27 minutes now. Mm -hmm. All right, well, thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the reveal. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. yep. And the totally uh, unexpected reveal. No one saw coming. <laughs> no one saw that coming. <laughs> and what's I'm best is that you let me get into a position where it would do a bit of damage before I did. We well, uh, didn't let you. We tried to bring you. We just felt bad for you. This fleet looks oh. terrifying. I didn't That's why you're going to die. You're I'm weak. Kind of Emotional. Right I think the humans die in this go, but let's see what happens. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye. See you next time. Bye. Bye.